Do you have a favorite tool? I guess would be like a follow up question to that, like that you like to use when it comes to uh, oh. pen testing. Like, what's your what's your like if if like someone's like, hey, we have a, our tool SME subject matter expert. Uh, what what would you say yours is? Yeah, so I like Bluetooth. This is an Uber tooth. I have three of these. I am just now trying to, and I just pulled this out of my box of like stuff that I have right here. So Uber tooths are the coolest thing because they are for Bluetooth hacking. Um, what I'm doing is um, doing a proof of concept right now for a, a master lock. So like one of the ones that you would hook on your gate. Um, I have, ha I don't, I'm not sure the, the make, the model of the other one that I have cracked. Um, but I'm trying a different, a different make and model of one where I'm essentially, I'll give you kind of like the really quick spiel of how you can technically do it. Cool. You, you take, you know, three Uber tooths because, uh, Bluetooth is on a frequency hop. And so you need to have the ability to capture multiple channels at once. And so what you do is you capture parts of a handshake um, that are crossing those, you know, three different Uber tooths. If you only do one, you'll only capture, you know, if there's four pieces of handshake, because it's a three-way handshake and there's four like packets that you would find yep. on Wireshark. If you um, only have one Uber tooth, you're only going to capture maybe one, two of those packets, maybe, but you got to have three in order to do a replay in order to actually successfully send that to whatever you're trying to crack. So you take three Uber tooths and make sure that you're able to capture every single channel that you can possibly do to, ca you know, maximize your chances of capturing all three or four of those handshakes. And then you take those packets and you replay them back as is, you know, any replay attack. So um, I like Wi-Fi 